Do Not Age has kindly provided a 10% discount for all their products to our audience with the code Modern Healthspan. Thank you for your support. So, apart from collagen, what mm. supplements are you thinking of? Are you working on currently? And is there anything you can share with about those? Sure. So I'll try and share as much as I can. Uh, the last few months, it's been great because I knew that we were going forward with the collagen. So I've been able to talk about that. But um, now that one's already uh, in, in the pre-launch phase. Uh, we're looking at, we're always testing multiple ingredients and products. When we launch a new ingredient, we will always in, make sure that we improve what's available on the market. Um, and if we can't do that because it's already the maximum purity or quality, then we'll reduce the cost. So things like Sulfora Boost, it's way more powerful than anything else on the market. Whereas the collagen peptides that we're coming out with, there's already very high purity collagen available. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is reduce the cost. Um, I think it's gonna be a month supply is gonna be like $20. So big pot is $20. So, you know, it's gonna be, again, it's about sticking to those two principles has done us really well so far. Um, uh, the two that I'm probably most excited about and confident in would be urolithin A and astaxanthin. So they're both being worked on at the moment. I, I saw urolithin, or I heard you talk about urolithin A. That does seem very interesting. We talked to another company that was, that had a well, urolithin A product. Um, but yeah, so it looks like an interesting kind of mitochondrial support. It does, yeah. So derived from pomegranates originally, yeah. um, looks to have a positive effect on the mitochondria, but there's also potential with for things like gut health and muscle endurance and all those kind of things as well. So urolithin A is definitely one that we're uh, working with at the moment. And then the other one is astaxanthin, where we're hmm. actually partnering with a couple of other uh, companies on that one. Um, but it looks like it could be a cell protector. So, you know, boosting the immune system and also potential to protect from UV rays. So it's, uh, right. yeah, watch this space. Now, do not age.org works in a number of trials. Okay, mm -hmm. you support trials in various ways. Can you talk about the kind of roles that you take within those trials? <laughs> yes, of course. So um, it, it, it really depends. We work in several different ways. And I think the great thing about our setup and how our organization works is that we can be really flexible with it. Mm -hmm. So there's various different uh, criteria, for example, for getting involved. And that varies from project to project, but we'll just always communicate openly and try to come to an arrangement because most of the time if somebody's reaching out to us to work together on, on some kind of research then they are the kind of people that we want to be dealing with anyway so they'll give they give uh, they give their input we give ours and then we come to some kind of arrangement about okay we might want to fund their research they might want to uh, join some of our research or alternatively uh, a lot of what we're seeing recently is laboratories that have already got everything in place and they just want the ingredients. So they want they want to know that the ingredient they're getting is the best and the purest. So they come to us and we just send them the ingredient. Uh, and then obviously, usually we'll send uh, a placebo as well that looks identical so that they can do, do everything correctly. Right. So when you're looking at these trials, do you have mm -hmm. some, some, a trial comes in? What kind of thing do you think about? I mean, do you say no to some of them? I assume that there are some that you would say no to. And what yeah. conditions are you looking for? We try not to because mm -hmm. it's about trying to do things in abundance. And the more we can help, the, the faster we're going to get to where we need to get to. But there are some that are, uh, I mean, some people don't come up with the right paperwork. They'll just be like, oh, I want you to send us a ton of CAAKG, we're going to do X, Y, Z. And then we ask them for backup paperwork to confirm everything and they don't have it. So uh, yeah, if they can't, if they can't prove they're using it for the right reasons, then obviously we have to say no, but the right. vast majority are legitimate. And obviously we do, we do say yes. What do, are you, can you put conditions when you, so can you cite, I mean, I'm particularly, I'm thinking like, can you say, well, you, you should publish the results, whether it's positive or negative or something like that. Um, if it's our own, then obviously mm. we have full autonomy on that. And when we yeah. can then, we will always publish. Um, vast majority of the time, Professor Gorbanova is involved. Um, if it's someone else's laboratory, then we we can ask them, but ultimately they're going to have the final say on that. Uh, and there are some people that wouldn't want to publish for whatever reason. And, mm. you know, there's not much, there's not a lot we can do. We, 
we'll always stipulate that we get to see the data. That's really, really important for us, um, but we can't force a publication. Right. So uh, that was one of my questions. So you do get access to the data, I guess, yes. ahead of time. And uh, will you be putting up like a list of the studies that you've been part of, or is there any way that we can see what that is? Yes. So we're in the process of redesigning our website. Um, for anybody that's been on do not org, it was originally just the, it's just the customer facing site mm -hmm. where people can come and purchase those pure ingredients that are used in research for their own use. And we, you know, we've never had a marketing department, for example. And I think some people can tell that by looking at our website because it's, a, it's slightly clunky and, you know, all those kind of things. So it's, cause it's not been the focus, right? The focus has been the research. But we're now at that stage where, you know, we're, we want to make, make it more accessible for people. And we have a lot more to talk about in terms of the research side. So we're mm -hmm. looking at redesigning the website and having a, a, another page that's solely dedicated to the research that do not age been involved in where obviously where we're allowed to talk about it. Excellent. I mean, that would be really good because uh, mm. the, the supplement industry, there's just such a lack of research, especially in humans, right? I mean, how much does NMN really raise NAD levels? It's, it's so difficult to tell and all the different mechanisms of taking it. So it would be really nice to have a research page to look at. It would. And just, just to give everybody a heads up, the best way is just to swallow it. It can be either powder or capsules. Either is fine uh, and take it first thing in the morning. So there you go. There's a little uh, there's a little heads up. And we will be following that with a, a, a full clinical trial to prove it. But obviously we have our NAD testing kits. So we've uh, we've we've tested that extensively um, and now we just need to do it clinically. Excellent.